in part A of this example, we'll factor 12 plus 21x minus 6x squared. Before starting, check for common factors. Before we check for common factors, we should reorder the trinomial. We now have minus 6x squared plus 21x plus 12. This trinomial has a common factor of minus 3. Minus 6x squared is the same as minus 3 times 2x squared. Twenty one x is the same as minus three times minus seven x. Twelve is the same as minus three times minus four. Factor out minus three to get minus three times two x squared minus seven x minus four. We won't be using the minus 3 for a while, so let's put it in holding. Our task now is to factor 2x squared minus 7x minus 4. In step 1, we need to get two numbers of the product of a times c and a sum of b. The product of a and c is minus 8. b is minus 7. The first pair of numbers we'll try is 4 and minus 2. These numbers have a sum of 2. They don't work since we need a sum of minus 7. Next, we'll try 8 and minus 1. These numbers have a sum of 7. This doesn't work either. Since we got the right number but the wrong sign, we should swap the signs of the numbers for our next guess. Let's try minus 8 and 1. These numbers have a sum of minus 7. Minus 8 and 1 will work since their product is minus 8 and their sum is minus 7. Let's store the numbers in a sentence so we can retrieve them later. In step 2, We'll split the middle coefficient. Minus 7 is the same as minus 8 plus 1. Minus 8 times x is minus 8x. One times x is 1x. The four-term polynomial is 2x squared minus 8x plus 1x minus 4. In step 3, we'll factor the first two terms, then the last two. Two 2x squared is 2x times x. Minus 8x is minus 2x times 4. Factor out 2x to get 2x times x minus 4. Bring down x minus 4. In step 4, we'll factor out the common binomial.
x minus 4 is common to each term, so it can be factored out. We leave a vacant position by doing this, so we should use 1 as a placeholder to fill it. Collect the remaining terms in a set of brackets. Bring minus 3 out of holding to get the answer. The factors are minus 3, x minus 4, and 2x plus 1. In part b, we'll factor 8a squared minus 10ab minus 12b squared. Before starting, check for common factors. 8a squared minus 10ab minus 12b squared has 2 as a common factor. Let's bring down the trinomial so we can factor it. Eight a squared is two times four a squared. Minus ten a b is the same as minus two times five a b. Minus twelve b squared is the same as minus two times six b squared. Factor out 2 to get 2 times 4a squared minus 5ab minus 6b squared. Put 2 in holding while we factor the trinomial. In step 1, we'll get two numbers of the product of a times c and a sum of b. The product of a and c is minus 24. b is minus 5. The first pair of numbers we'll try is minus 6 and 4. The sum is minus 2. This doesn't work since we need a sum of minus 5. Next try minus 8 and 3. The sum is minus 5. This works since minus 8 and 3 have a product of minus 24 and a sum of minus 5. Let's store the numbers in a sentence so we can retrieve them later. In step 2, we'll split the middle coefficient. Minus 5 is the same as minus 8 plus 3. Minus 8 times AB is minus 8AB. Three times a b is three a b. The four term polynomial is four a squared minus eight a b plus three a b minus six b squared. In step three, we'll factor the first two terms, then factor the last two. Four a squared is four a times a. Minus eight a b is minus four a times two b. Factor out four a to get four a times a minus two b. Three a b is the same as three b times a. Minus 6b squared is the same as minus 6b times 2b. Factor out 3b to get 3b times a minus 2b.
In step 4, we'll factor out the common binomial. a minus 2b is common to each term, so factor it out. Collect the remaining terms in a set of brackets. Bring the two out of holding to get the final answer. The factors are 2, a minus 2b, and 4a plus 3b.